Beautiful people of planet Earth, once again, it's Chris, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about this Shure MVX2U digital audio interface, how to use it, and you are just, you're not going to believe how, A, how good it sounds, B, how easy it is to set up, and see how versatile this thing is when you use the Shure Plus mode of app. I'm using it right now as my interface. What you're hearing right now is the MVX2U, which is in line right here with the Shure SM7B. It has enough gain to power it, as you can hear. And I've got this thing rocking and rolling, and I'm going to show you how we did it. So here it is. Here's the Shure MVX to you. This is going to give you 60 dBs of clean gain. You could put it right on into your microphone like I'm doing here with the Shure SM7B, or you can go XLR cable out of your microphone and then go into it from there and then into your computer. There's the USB-C cable that I'm hooking up to my Shure Gator boom arm, and I'm putting it in line there. You can keep it nice and clean with your cables. You can see the little red light that's right here. That means I've got phantom power engaged and I'm going to show you how to do that with the Shure Plus Motive app right here in a second. And of course you can see right here, it's not just that, you get a 3.5 milliliter, or I'm sorry, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And what this is going to do is you're going to be able to monitor everything with zero latency with this built-in 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's perfect for live streaming or recording. It's what I I've got plugged in right now with these Shure Aonic 50 headphones. So here's where it really gets interesting. And as you can see, everything is nice and clean for you to be able to do this. So here's where it gets interesting. As you can see right here, there's a little green light that lets you know, hey, I'm plugged in very small. You can take it on the road with you and take a really great microphone, even a microphone like this that is gain hungry that needs a lot of it. But what you'll do on your computer locally is you have to download the Shure Plus Motive app. App. And so what you're seeing right here on the screen basically is my Shure Plus Motive app, which is right here in the center. And what I've got over here is a program that's just showing me my levels so I can make sure that I'm not clipping. I'm not going into the red and I'm staying in the yellow. So the great thing about this is you just go to the Shure site, you download the software. It is free. And once you connect your Shure MVX to you, this will automatically detect it. You will then just download the most current firmware for it, which takes two minutes, depending on your internet speed, and then you're off to the races. So you're going to hear this thing maybe go quiet for a second and then come back on. That's because I'm going to be switching between what's called auto level and what's called manual. And so as you can see right here in the center with the Shure Plus Motive app, there is right around here, there's, it shows auto level and it shows manual. So if I click auto level, now you're going to see, and you probably heard a difference in in the sound of my voice here is like an auto level for you and you it, by the way you can set everything as a preset so once you get everything that you like you can lock it in and get a preset for how you want this to sound so this is speaking near to my microphone I'm getting as close as I can without eating the microphone for proximity effect and I'm speaking across it so I have it in the near setting for auto level but you can hit far which would give it a little bit more gain so you would it, and if it's far I would click far and I would be more back here. And it's definitely, if you want to get your mic out of the shot, this is the setting that you would use right here. This, I've got it set on the dark setting, which gives it a more of a broadcast feel, but there is a natural, which you heard a little bit of a difference there. And then there is a bright sound, which is going to get more crispy, high-end kind of things. I tend to go with the dark tone here. And then you've got your gain, which you can just set. These are the simple sort of auto leveling that you can do. I've got the phantom power on because this is the Shure SM7B. It requires a little bit more gain. And so when I turn on the phantom power, this is going to engage the clean gain that you're going to get out of the Shure MVX2U interface. You can mute your microphone right here. And so if I click this and I'm just going to continue to talk and hit the mute. And so you'll be able to hear my voice be affected by this. So I'm here I am talking and boy, isn't this MVX2U hear me as I unclick it and now I'm unmuted. So the monitor mix really has to do with the sound of your monitor, which I've got my headphones right here plugged into the, the headphone jack of the MVX2U. So as I move 
this to the left, I'm hearing just what's coming out of my mic. And if I move all the way to the right, it would be just the playback of what is coming out of the computer. But I'm just going to keep it centered. It really doesn't matter at this point. This would matter if you're using software where you've got people coming in and you want to be able to hear yourself versus not hearing yourself. All right, so that's just the general setting for auto level. I'm going to click over to manual, which is really where you get into the weeds, so to speak, of this and really dial in the setting that you want for this particular microphone. I've got the phantom power on. You probably heard a difference when I switched over to manual. This is the setting that I like. I've got a good amount of gain here. I've got about 60 dBs of gain, but you can see right here is my down here on the bottom left, or I guess over in this direction, you can see I still am doing okay, but every once in a while I'm going into the red a little bit so I'm going to come back a little bit probably about 56 and a half dBs you do have a limiter here so there is something where if you absolutely yell or you never know what can happen during the course of a recording you do have a limiter so you can keep that on and you do have the ability to do a light medium or heavy amount of compression on your voice I like the way it is a little bit with a little light compression just realize you're recording with whatever you're doing. So if you're coloring your sound uh, a lot, it's going to uh, it, it's basically going to be baked into the recording that you're doing. So you want to be somewhat selective here. Your EQ, you can set this right here. This 250 range is like the spoken word, kind of low end -y kind of thing that would give you an even more of a low end kind of broadcast voice. Here is, I try to stay away from the super low end because yeah, not a lot of it translates to recording. And then if you want a little crispy sound, you can grab some of these upper mids here or the higher mid range right here. And this is something that, so this is the setting that I like for this. And so if I want to save this as a preset, I would just go right here and I would click save and I will call this S M7B with MVX2U and click save and that is locked and so when I plug this in next time I can go right to that preset and be able to use this right away. So love the be the love the ability to do that. Here's the other thing that I think is a little mind blowing actually when you think about it. Like obviously I'm using a Shure SM7B, this is a Shure interface, but this interface will work with any XLR microphone. So you can use a Shure SM58, which is the standard for podcasting music. You've seen this mic, presidents, comedians, whatever have used this microphone. I can unplug this and plug in the SM58. It doesn't matter what it is. I've got a microphone here from Heil called a Finn that lights up. I can plug this into this. I've got a Samson Q2U. I'm going to plug this in just to show you how it works. You might hear a pop. I'm going to try to, I'm gonna, I'll definitely edit out the pop. There we go. This microphone, the phantom power that you use for this microphone actually lights this thing up. Pretty cool. But as you can tell right now, as I'll switch over to the, the Motive app, I'm again, I'm seeing the same setup here and I can adjust everything on the fly and get it to where I want. I want the proper levels here. And let me just look at my meter down here. It's a little bit hot, so I'm going to bring it down some. And I'm actually going to bring, I'm going to actually going to take the EQ off this. I'd like a little bit more high end with this microphone. And then now I'm just going to save this as Finn MVX2U. And so now I have a setting for another great microphone, which is the Finn. And I could do the same here with the Samsung Q2U, even though the Samsung Q2U is a USB microphone, it has an XLR input and you can use that and plug it in with an XLR and be able to utilize the software here with the Shure MV MVX2U and the Shure Plus Motive software and get additional EQ with it, get some gain, whatever you might need to sound, to actually make your mic sound a little bit better. So there you go. I hope this helps you. Once again, this is the Assure MVX2U digital audio interface, and I hope this video helps you.